What's going on everyone? This is Mark Doss and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Ryu Jinx on your Steam Deck. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the Steam button. We're going to go down to Power. And then we're going to switch to Desktop. Okay, now that you're on the Desktop mode of your Steam Deck, you're going to go to the bottom left. You're going to the Discover Software Center right here. Alright, you're going to type in Ryu Jinx. And this is it right here. We're going to click Install. Now, if you can't type it in, it's probably easier. You can, well, access. I'll show you where it is. We'll go into applications, games, emulators, and then you'll scroll down and you'll see it right here if you don't feel like typing it in. All right, now that it is installed, we're going to hit launch. You're going to get this keys not found message. We're going to hit OK and it's going to take a little bit to load. Okay, now that that's loaded, if you get a pop-up saying if you want to use Vulcan as the back end, you're going to hit yes. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our keys in. Now, I did include keys in the description so you can download those. Now, we're going to minimize this for now. We're going to go to our file explorer here, Dolphin. And now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click these three lines in the top right. And you're going to click show hidden files. And now we're going to go to home. We're going to go to up here. We're going to go to var, app. And then Ryu Jinx is right here. And we're going to go to config, Ryu Jinx, and then system. And this is where you're going to put the keys. So we're going to do that right now. These are our keys right here. We're going to copy these. And we're going to put them in here. And we're going to close this out. And we're going to go back to the Ryu Jinx right here. Now the next thing we're going to do is install firmware. Now I'm going to show you where to get the firmware from. So I'm going to show you real quick in the web browser. So if you go type in Darth Sterney, and this is the first link right here, you're going to click switch. And then version 15.0.1 is the latest one. So you'll click download. And then the Mega will launch, and then you'll click download down here, and then you'll start to download. It's going to download a zip file, and you're going to leave it as a zip file. So the next thing we're going to do is once that is done, we'll go back to Ryu Jinx. We'll go to Tools, Install Firmware, and go to Install Firmware from XCI or Zip. We'll click that, and then we're going to go to our downloads where our firmware is, and we're going to click Open. And now it's a pop up. It's going to say Install Firmware, and then we'll hit Yes to continue. Yes. And you should get this pop up saying that it is successfully finished. And we're going to click OK. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our options and in our settings and we're going to set everything up. So the first thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to input. I'm going to uncheck this dock mode for now and I'm going to configure player one. And then under input device, I'm going to choose Steam Virtual Gamepad. And then controller type, I usually use Pro Controller, so we're going to leave it at that. And what you're going to do is now we're going to map all of our buttons. So we're going to click them. And then press A, so we'll map all of them. Oops. Go back. Okay, I closed it by accident. But now that it's back open, we're going to map all of our controls. Okay, so now that that's mapped, you're going to save it, and you're going to do the same thing for handheld. So you're going to go into handheld, you're going to configure, we're going to choose Steam Virtual Gamepad, control type is going to stay on handheld, and you're going to map them again, just as you did before. Okay, now that we're back in the menu under system, we're going to leave this as it is. Sometimes I'll um, disable vSync just when I'm testing out games to see if they run better or not, but we can leave enable for now. Under graphics, we're going to leave um, backend multi-threading on auto. The graphics backend is going to be Vulkan, obviously. We'll leave that on the Van Gogh right here. Now, sometimes I will switch to OpenGL, depending on if the game won't run, if I get a black screen. If Sometimes it will work better on OpenGL. You'll have to test that yourself. But for the most part, I will leave it on Vulkan. Um, these I'll leave checked off. And resolution scale, I'll usually leave it 
on native, but a lot of times I'll go to custom and I'll put 0.75 resolution. I feel like that's the sweeter spot. It gives you a little bit better performance and it doesn't knock down the quality that as much. I wouldn't recommend going lower than 0.75 as it'll start to look very choppy and blurry. But for the most part, you can leave it on native or 0.75. So I'll apply that now. This will leave on auto. And axe pass ratio, we will leave. I usually put, I think, stretch to fit window. So we can hit apply on that one. And the next thing we're going to do is our game directory is under general. So we're going to hit add. Now I have something on the desktop already set up. So I'm going to click my desktop and click the games folder and hit add. Go back first. Make sure it's highlighted. Hit add. Now hit apply and save. And as you'll see right here, I have Pokemon Scarlet ready to go. Now you can add your um, SD card. You will just do the same thing. So go to general, hit add. Scroll down, go to your removable devices, and you'll choose which folder you want to add. So now that we have one ROM in, what I'm going to do is show you how to update the game if necessary. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click on this and go to manage title updates. There's no update right now. So we're going to go to add. And now I do have the update in my guess. This is the update right here. So we're going to click that and we're going to add it right here. And we're going to save. And now the update should work. It should be version 1.1.0. Now you can do the same thing. Right here, if you want to remove it, but we'll leave that right now. Now that everything is set up, we are going to minimize this and we're going to go into Steam. And we're going to add a game. We're going to add a non Steam game. And it should be right here in the list. See, Ryu Jinx is right here. So I'm going to click that and hit Add Selected Program. And it should pop up in our library. And I have two, one is something else. Okay, so now that it's there, we can leave that. We can exit out. Now we can go back to game mode. So we're going to return to gaming mode. Okay, so now that we're back in the gaming mode, we're going to hit our Steam button. We're going to go to library, and it's going to be under non-Steam, so it's going to be right here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and launch that. Okay, so now that we're in Reugent itself, we're going to hold the Steam button to use the mouse, just like you do in desktop mode, and we're going to double click on Pokemon Scarlet, and then it should launch right away. Okay, so I had a little issue, so if you do have a problem, just check your options real quick, because for some reason mine reverted to four times resolution, which it shouldn't have, but I put it back to native. And now we're running nice and smooth here. So now what I usually do is hit options and go full screen, and then that's it. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. I have hoped uh, this helped a lot of people, and if you have any questions, please comment down in the comment section below, and I'll try and help you out. Thanks.